What's going on guys? So yeah, it's been quite a long time since, since we've had like a sit down, like face to face vlog chat. Um, in fact, how long, how long has it been? It's been about two, three weeks or so since it's just been me and you uh, talking. Um, so today's going to be a bit of a, I'm going to take through my day sort of thing, like a full day of eating slash like, don't know, day in the life. Um, guilty, I have already had my first meal due to having to do something in the morning, family thing. I'll put the macros up here, what it was. I just want to sit down really and chat where I'm currently at in life, you see, because um, obviously I did the reaction videos with Waddle and um, we did some football content. Um, I did a montage last week. So yeah, um, last week I went away, went to Liverpool, um, which which meant I had to get two videos out last week. I didn't want to leave you guys with nothing. So I hope you all liked it, liked them both. Um, so yeah, so I've now locked down in this area um, is easing slightly. There's still some restrictions, but there's, it's freer than it was when we started this YouTube channel, when me and Waddle, all the way back when we were doing Skype podcasts. We, we are lucky enough now to be able to come and record together. So we are recording a podcast tomorrow together um, here. So that's one to look out for. Um, yeah, so there's gonna be more content happening and there has been a lack of vlog videos because I, I wouldn't say I've been lacking motivation because I don't want to. I don't want to be lie to you all because I know I start this channel on saying, "Oh, motivate yourself, come out your comfort zone, do this, do that." And if I'm being honest with you, I've been guilty of that these last two to three weeks. I've been struggling to think of ideas for videos. I've been struggling to do other things because this has been taken over my life quite since we started this company it's been quite it's been taken over my life for like the past two or three months two or three months now i'm not saying that's a bad thing because obviously this is a very exciting project that's happening for me and my and waddle and everyone who's involved and we can't wait to show you guys the, the, the these teas that are coming out in the next month um but yeah um, i just hope when you when you all get your t-shirts you'll realize why we, we've been we took a little break from this sort of video because they are really, really high quality, they are really comfortable, they are, they are performance material, so yeah, um, remember, if you want to if you want to cut one of these, mid, mid September, date is yet to be released, join the movement, join the vision, progress never perfect baby, come on, so yeah, um, basically today, I'm just going to take you through what I'm going to do today, so as I said earlier, I had my breakfast about three hours ago, it is now about 12. Um, so I've been trying to fix my camera as well because yeah we haven't we had a sat down video of quite a while my mic broke so I've been trying to sit that so I just thought I'd have my, my first meal first um, like I said I put I put the macros on the screen so we're not missing anything in terms of the caloric intake for the end of the day um, I've got my second meal in about an hour in about two three hours and I'll take you through that when I when I make it but we're gonna we're gonna go train in about an hour an hour um, it's a back and bicep day with a little bit of legs in because I did legs of the day but I had to leave early so we're just adding back in. We don't miss days so anything we miss we add back in. Um, so yeah, that's it really. I just thought I'd sit down and a chat tell you, where, tell, tell you where I'm at. Uh, I'm currently in a lean bulk. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if I look, look a little bit bigger. Um, I think I do. I think slightly compared to my older videos. My face is a little bit more plumpier. That's okay. Um, I'm I'm currently in a calorie surplus, so for you guys who do watch the videos, who aren't um, madly in tune with the nutrition side of things, so to cut you need to be in a calorie deficit, which is less calories than usually intake in a day, so you're burning more calories than you use, or you want to bulk, you want to be a calorie surplus, so that's intaking more than usually intake, and, in, and um, eating more calories than you burn, so yeah, so at the minute I'm in a calorie surplus so i'm currently at 2400 calories um to 2500 depending on the day um so yeah max that, that, that might sound quite low for some people but um as my i've got a really slow metabolism so obviously i can't have the 3000 calorie meals i can't have well maybe on cheat days but maybe um i can't have the three yeah i can't have 3000 calorie meals so because honestly i gain so much fat and that's not what we want. I, if 21, 21, if I'm trading a client, I would not recommend that because I'd always recommend doing it a slower way. So if you look on the internet, most people would say, oh, do a 500 calorie 
surplus. That's too much for me. I, that's too much for anyone I train because let's not forget one pound of fat is 3,500 calories. One pound of fat is equivalent to 3,500 calories. So um, I'd always say up it week by week. So if you run 2,000 calories, maybe put it to 2,200 calories the next week. Maybe then 2,300 calories the week after. So do it slowly, 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 and it's it 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 limits the amount of fat you're gonna you're gonna gain. But um, yeah, it limits the amount of fat you're gonna gain. But you are um, but you are naturally gonna gain fat anyway. But if you're doing it like say, but, but if you're doing five hundred calories straight away, you're gonna gain a lot of fat eventually. So want to limit that fat into want to limit that fat gain and increase the muscle gain. We've talked to the channel before on like say me struggling to do bulking i think we did that in my fitness journey video a few months back um i even, I even mentioned it in the zaka from video a few weeks ago that um i've struggled to bulk in the past due to having something called body, body dysmorphia i've had it for pff, most part of my life and if these guys don't know what body dysmorphia is there's a definition there it's basically you're not comfortable in your own body in terms of like you if you're in good shape you don't see that Everyone else sees you're in good shape, but you, you see yourself as fat or not good enough. And I've suffered from that. I've suffered from that these past so many years. That's why I train as hard as I do in the gym. That's why I go to the gym, because I don't want to be fat. I don't want to be bigger again. Um, so yeah, so I've it's hard for me to bulk at the moment. It's always, but yeah, I've, I've accepted these last years or two that it's always going to be hard for me to bulk for that mental thing. But as we talk about here, Mentality is important, but it's always, it could also be a mental block. You've got to push through that mental block and do what you need to do to get things done. So yeah, um, bulking is what I'm doing now. So leave in the comments if you guys want to. Um, what where you at now? Are you in a calorie deficit? Are you cutting? Are you bulking? Um, yeah, I'll be cutting soon though because things are coming up in the year. I want to look leaner for. So yeah, I hope these guys are having a good day. Smash a thumbs up. Leave a like. Subscribe and enjoy the video. P.S. By the way, um, oh God, my camera's out. My camera's really overexposed. Um, by the way, I've um, if right people say TikTok's quite shit, and I agree with 90% of the content. But there's a creator on there. Let me plug her one second. She's called at Lexi Herod. Um, I'll put that in the description. I'll link her TikTok or her Instagram in the, in the description. Um, she's very very informative um i can relate to in fact she used to be a bigger size and she's changed her life blah 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 um and it got me thinking a lot of people come to the videos a lot of negativity and i've seen a lot of things on social media like people telling you, you can't eat this you can't eat that you can't eat this you can't eat that and i'm here to tell you it's wrong it's just wrong it's you can it's wrong wrong um you can google it you can do anything you want um you can eat what you want you can get a shredded off McDonald's if you wanted to. Obviously, I would not recommend that. But um, the, the health benefits and all that. Um, but um, yeah, um, in terms of social media and people who I talk to, people I train with, fitness is a very complex organism in terms of like people have got their own opinion. Um, there's so many parts to it that make it. So people have one thing, you might have another opinion, another person have another opinion. But um, I'm here to tell you that your opinion isn't wrong. It's just, it's, it's just another part of fitness as it is. People do fitness, people do fitness, I don't even know the word. People approach fitness, that's the, for, for a better phrase, differently than someone else. Someone else might use, you know, steroids to get where they are, Body, bodybuilders, powerlifters, but in terms of being all natural, you can eat what you like in, t in moderation. I'm going to put that word there, moderation. Moderation is such a, um, how can I put it? It's such a important word because, as you can see, I've always said I'm in the best shape, but I pride myself in being quite knowledgeable. It's been three or four years now since I've been eating like this. Um, in, I've made all the mistakes in the book. I'm still making mistakes, but that's all right. Um, so... I used to eat too little, and then I ate too much, and then now I found that balance. So, 90% um, of people start off not eating, not eating enough. So, uh, that's okay if you are, 
Um, how can I phrase it? That's okay if you have the bigger build that you want to slim down. Naturally, you are going to have to not eat enough to lose that weight, lose that fat, and be able to start. But if you are already skinny, and your metabolism is very high, very quick, and you want to build muscle, most people don't eat enough, and they don't, they don't see results in the gym. And that's important to know that you should eat frequently. I recommend every two, three hours, low calorie snacks or low calorie meals. You're having six, seven meals a day, but it's equivalent to an average three meal a day a day, if you get what I'm saying. It's like a 2,500 calorie a day. So I'm drinking this at the moment. Diet, Coke Zero, whatever, whatever. It's better than Diet Coke for you, um, even though it's not the best itself. Um, so this is zero calories, guys, you know what I mean? So it's not gonna, one, it's not gonna hurt you. People are, are afraid of, sodas or pop as we call it um, don't be afraid of them I didn't touch fizzy drinks for two and a half years and yeah it was a big mistake um, I used to shake a lot because I didn't have enough sugar in my body or enough nutrients coming in so it's alright to have a a treat now and again I have a cheat meal every five days every week to keep me on track and another side to not having cheat meals is relapsing so I've again I've done it so I'm qualified to talk about it. Um, a lot of people do it. So you can be too disciplined, too strict with your, with, with your meals, and you're craving pizza, you're craving chocolate, you're craving all this crap food from fast food chains, you're craving all this fat, uh, this, these sweets that everyone else is eating, but you can't. You go into, you go into dinners with your family, and you're getting a salad. Nah, that's not how you do it. That's not how you do it. Because then you start to nibble bits there, nibble bits here, and before you know it, you're, you're, you're binging, you're binging, you're binging, and all the, all the progress you've made, is slowly going away. So I've always said, if I'm training someone, you should always have one cheat meal a week, or two, depend, or two cheat meals, depending on where you are in your progression. So I'm on one to two a week at the moment, um, so I have an 80-20 split, so 80-20, 80% good food, 20% bad food. It's a, it's a balance. This is a very long intro, so I'm gonna stop here, enjoy the video. Um, the next clip you'll see is me make some food, then we're gonna go to the gym, then I might go for a walk later on. So yeah, cheers. Right guys, now about an hour later, we're gonna make some food. We're gonna make what I'm had for breakfast. I tend to have the same for breakfast and dinner every day. Might sound boring, keeps me on track. I love it. So there's about 200 grams of chicken in here. Yes, it's equivalent of one chicken, average chicken breast. Um, we have some look. We have one tin of beans, but I tend to half it and put them in the fridge. Then we have two eggs. That's some chicken with my dinner. So we're gonna get cooking that now. Um, yeah, and then it's going to be our pre-workout meal, and then, yeah, we'll go to the gym. Au revoir. So to cut the chicken in the frying pan and the eggs, I use Fry Light Olive Oil Spray. It's one calorie per spray, limits calories are going to add. Olive oil is very calorific, so is vegetable oil, so yeah, just thought I'd share that. Few pumps and we done. Huh, definitely haven't heard that before. Then go chicken. Sorry, the quality's a bit shit. I'm bogging on my phone. I've been cooking. But what you'll find is this meal is like it's going to be a staple on my channel, even when cutting because it's quite low calories, like 400 calories, 430. Um, so yeah, try it at home. Chicken omelette, beans, and I tend to add a little surprise at the end. Sounds a bit fucking sketchy, that doesn't it? Um, but yeah, I'll show you. See how it goes. Go the eggs. So as you can see, that's the final product. Um, yeah, the presentation is beautiful. Look at look at it. So um, I have a bottle of water. I drink about three or four liters of water a day, um, and I have this. This is my go-to condiment. It is a sriracha hot chili sauce. I have it with everything except oats. 
except protein shakes, except protein bars. So maybe not everything. So um, yeah, this is what I have with most of my savory meals, my rice and stuff, as the flavor. It is quite high in calories. Um, as you can see there, it's 139 calories per 100 milliliters. So I do tend to only put a bit on. And adds a bit of flavor. Adds a bit of flavor. Gives it spice, as I like spice. Um, the, the flavor, not the drug. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna eat this, and then I'm gonna start packing for the gym. And then yeah, see you then. So I just got back from the gym. Um, I tried recording, but obviously I couldn't due to the restrictions at the minute. Um, so yeah, about to tuck into my third meal of the day. We've got turkey sausages, rice, mushrooms, and carrots, and that sriracha sauce, I told you. I haven't everything. I tuck into this, then we'll go for a walk in a bit. So it's about an hour or two later now. Um, I just had a quick nap. And um, yeah, so I'm going to my final meal of the day. It's like 7, 8, 7 p.m. Skier yogurt. I'm going to have this, then we're going to go for a, a walk. So yeah, I'll put the calories up here for this. And... You got your problems, baby. And I've got mine. And I've got mine. And I've got mine. It's just good to get out, you know. Just gotta get, get out, get out, go for a walk. Hello. So, um, yeah. So this is like walking's where I get most of my ideas for the videos, for business. So I'm stuck inside all day. It's the same things over and over again. It's good to see. It's good to see people still being active even after the lockdown restrictions basically have been lifted. So people are sticking to it. I like to get out, like see the scenery because look how beautiful that is. Like it's gorgeous. You know what I mean? Um, today was just gonna be a full day of eating of like what's causing in my day. And since nothing's really gone on today, I'm gonna take the vlog to tomorrow. So I'm going to the gym about 6.30 tomorrow morning with a cousin. Yeah, so I'm going to the gym tomorrow morning at 6.30 for a, a back and buys workout. Then I'm going again in the afternoon with my gym partner. So I'll try and film both of them. If not, it's not the worst thing in the world. I'll try and film more in the morning. So yeah, get out, be active. Helps with, helps with the thought process. You got your problems, baby, and I've got mine. Yo guys, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. As you can see, we're trying to set up the podcast set up. Well, he's trying. Um pissing it down as well, so it's not, it's not ideal but yeah i sincerely hope you've enjoyed this video leave a like and comment in the comment section below what your favorite part was if you've got any questions about my diet plan let me know in the comments so yeah leave a like subscribe i'll see you in a bit